the funds that we set aside, what we probably can't do. If you, if you remember Leona Helmsley, when she died, she left how many millions of dollars for her, I think it was a dog she had, if I remember correctly, okay? One thing that Michigan law says is, whatever money I set aside here, which kind of is going to get into your question about how much, somebody could, and I don't know who that somebody's going to be right now, somebody could come in and say, that's too much. Tom left too much aside. And a judge ultimately has the authority to decide it was too much. And if the judge decides it's too much, they're going to reconfigure whatever's been done. So in, in most cases, what are, what are we doing? We're saying, okay, here's in, in my example with my brother. Bill, here's my cat. You take care of my cat. I'm setting aside X dollars in my trust. And the rest of it's going someplace else. Maybe I've got kids that it's going to go to, or maybe I've got charities that's going to go to, or maybe I'm going to give it to a rescue, whatever I'm going to do with the what's left. If a judge comes in here and looks and says, 30,000 is too much, I think 10,000 is the right number. What happens with the 20? The 20 goes where everything else went, whether it was my kids or the rescue or something else. So it's not like the court takes the 20. But they could ultimately decide that it's too much. So we do have to be careful, kind of gave it, when we set these up, of trying to be reasonable in what we're funding these things with. Okay? Because there is that risk out there. Now, the risk in some sense is really dependent upon probably family dynamics. Do we have a family in which we think, I mean, if I have a case in which I'm setting outside $30,000, and my kids don't get anything now. Well, my kids might not be really happy about that. And they might have any, every incentive in trying to challenge that. Okay? On the other hand, if they already got all kinds of money themselves, they might not really care what I did with the $30,000. So some of it's family dynamics. Who's really going to be out there challenging things? But what we need to understand is in Michigan, under the law, somebody could challenge what we've done, and a court could reduce the amount. So if I look and I say, how much? Okay. And there's no mathematical formula that you end up getting to how much. But it's really looking at your pet. What is your pet's, what have the needs been of your pet? Okay. What are the normal expenses that you have associated with caring for your own pets? I mean, you've got your vet bills and you've got your food and you've got, you know, some people take their pets on vacation. I mean, you've got all those kinds of things that come along with it. And, and that's the starting point. How much does it cost you right now? Because if you add all that stuff on, a, on an annual basis, and then you say, okay, if something happens to me today, which is what we're really talking about, what's the life expectancy of my pet? How many years into the future can we project, should we project, that it's likely that my pet is going to survive? And then you start doing some math. So let's say I come up and I say, and I'm just picking a number out of the air, uh, I'm saying, okay, right now I'm spending $5,000 a year. And I'm sitting here saying, and I project if I die today, my pet has a 20-year life expectancy. All right, what's it going to take to set aside, how much money to set aside to provide $5,000 a year for the next 20 years? It's math. But that's the way you do that because if it becomes an issue, at least you've got that basis in someone making the argument to the judge. Judge, here's why it's not. We didn't just pick a number out of the air. We didn't just say, take my $2 million, whatever it happens to be, and set it aside. We went through an analysis. These are the needs that my pet has. Now, we can factor into that as the pets get older. Additional expenses, just like, every, just like people, just like children. Okay, additional vet bills, different food, different whatever it happens to be. And, and we just start trying to calculate, and, and it's a guess, truly it's a guess at the end of the day, but we're trying to make an educated guess is the best that we, does that kind of answer? I think that was your question, wasn't it? Somebody, 